Hello. I'm uh, just going to make a short film um, which is aimed at a user of the uh, Stein Jewel who, who has emailed me recently um, and he's, uh, he's been having some issues with the preloading and lifting mechanism in that the line is somehow escaping the jaws. Um, now I'm, I'm not sure how it's happened, or how, how it's happening. Um, I'm assuming that it's it's user error and not that there's any kind of issue with this particular unit um, because it, it'd be the first that I've heard of. Um, You'll just have to excuse me if I'm if I'm talking quietly. Only uh, I'm surrounded by neighbours. This is this is our backyard, and I'm surrounded by neighbours here. And uh, I really don't want to talk to them. I, I don't want them coming out and, and asking me what I'm doing here because I just don't need it at this minute. Um, same as my daughters just up in the in the top room there and, and if she sees me out here or hears me she's gonna come running out and mess up everything and, and I'll never get this done. She, she's three years old like so so uh, I'm just gonna put the head cam on and hopefully get some close-ups of the of the procedure same as it is on on the uh, online tutorial which has been on YouTube now for a couple of years but uh, maybe I've missed something in that you, you know I've watched it several times and uh, it, it's pretty clear to me you know the do's and don'ts but I'm, I'm gonna go over it again anyway with the uh, using the helmet camera so uh, so See, there's somebody looking at me now. So uh, I'm going to switch that on and, and, and get on with it. Okay, thanks. Okay, so... Uh head cams on now um, it's a little bit dark so I'm not sure how the film is gonna look on screen hopefully you can see everything um, so the uh, the the device is, is mounted as it should be choker at the bottom you know the strap is is lined up evenly and tensioned up um, the, uh, we've got a, a pulley at the top to simulate a rigging block and uh, notice that the line is coming from directly above where it enters the, uh, the bollard and this is the bollard on the left side of the device which lines up with the uh, with the jaws on the preloading lever, okay. So that's the first consideration: is to make sure that the line is is coming down from directly above, not over to the side somewhere. So um, if you're rigging a tree and your primary rigging point isn't directly above, then you need to set a fair lead or a redirect somewhere along the way just to keep this line coming straight down I suppose if it was you know 10 degrees out either way it wouldn't matter so much but um, you, you get the general idea you can see where it, it you know the way it aligns with the jaws and then following through to take the first wrap on the left side of the bollard okay 
so I've just got this heavy bag which is full of uh, lines and and blocks and there's another bollard and, and, and I've even put a big heavy vise in there because I don't have any logs to use so we just stuck a load of gear in there to give it some weight so I'll just let that down to the ground this is a half inch line which is about as skinny as you're gonna use and if any line is gonna slip on this uh, on these jaws it's gonna be a skinny one that, that's why I've used it generally speaking the thicker the line you use then, um, the less chance you've got of it slipping Okay, so let's look at that again. So to the left side, take a couple of turns. Always make sure that the line goes around both of the rear fair leads. I should swing over and align quite easily. drop the jaws and then close the gate see the little gate okay now there's no way this line can come out so first thing when I open this gate right up this uh, line is unimpeded by the jaws or the little gate or anything else so I can actually if I'm just lowering stuff down I can leave I don't have to take the whole thing off I, I can just leave it in there the whole time I'm you know I'm working and nothing will snag the line will run right the way through and then if I want to preload something fast you know it's already set up for me to do so when you're preloading the first thing is to pull it tight as you can by hand to start with okay tight as you can and then engage the jaws so when you push the lever up don't do it from the back because it's just going to bend there at the join push your hand right up close push as hard as you can okay and it should just sit there quite comfortably but if you don't push hard it'll, it'll just flop down so push it right up and again it won't stay there if you haven't first tensioned the line up. so I've got one hand on the to tend the slack on the bollard and I've got my other hand on the uh, on the lever now I can pull that down and just keep pushing it up pulling the handle down see turn the slack I'm not going to rush or try and do anything fast because I just want you to see what's going on it'll be much quicker to and safer to an extent if someone else was uh, tending the slack as my right hand is doing but there's nobody else here to do that I'd say the contents in that bag probably weigh about as much as I do 
Okay. Let me just tie this off. Now, whichever way I put this lever during the lifting procedure, as you can see, so long as the gate is closed, there's no way that line can come out because there's no gap for it to, to slip through. And th th this was the complaint or the concern that, I've, that has been brought to my attention. So I, I, I don't see how this is possible for the line to work its way out. Because the, the, the lever only goes from there to them, no matter what I do. Once it's under tension, how can it possibly come out? You know, and that's that's a half inch line. But you can see there's, there's just not a big enough gap. So now, when we come to lowering the uh, the piece down, you know, if you're choosing to to leave the uh, the lifting lever in place and the gate closed, just make sure that you push this back so there's a nice gap there for the line to run through unobstructed. So we'll just take off. bite and a couple of wraps and down she goes again there's no way the line can come out now I'm, I'm just trying to read between the lines of, of the email that I got so, and one of the other um, things that was said, one of the other concerns was that when this rope is apparently escaping somehow, although as you can see, it's just not possible if the gate's closed. But one of the other concerns was, is the actual, uh, the rope slipping out of the jaws and then a load of slack being induced into the line so I'm just not sure how, how that's possible unless what's happening is is that nobody's tending the slack and, and you know something like that's happening you're actually sort of releasing the tension without holding the you know holding the other end I hope I've covered everything because um, I'm just curious as to know what what's what's the situation look at that Where, how do, how can the rope come out of there if you don't have the gate closed, then what? Well, let's just try that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If you don't have the gate closed, then yeah, it's not gonna. I'm just about gripping it on the edge there. See, and now it's missing. But if you tend in the slack, then it's still you still shouldn't lose any tension, even if it does come out of the jaws. So what? What's? I'm I don't understand. Okay. Well, I hope that clarifies a couple of things, and I hope to hear soon as to what you know. 
what the situation is. <laughs> 